Hello again YouTube, Enzo back bringing you another video and just a quick update, the deed is done. I am now the proud owner of a 1998 BMW Z3. Uh, yeah, picked it up on Friday, quite late unfortunately, so I couldn't do uh, a review because the light obviously was pitch black by the time I picked it up. A uh, gentleman was working, I was working, so just had to go down well into the night and I wanted, I wanted to take delivery of the car, so I did. And brilliant. Uh, I've just been flat out lately. I um just been called to work all over the weekend. Uh, thank God I've got a day off tomorrow because I've absolutely knackered. Uh, it's been bonkers. So I did manage to give it a quick wash earlier on. Um, again, the light was fading, and uh, I thought uh, tomorrow now I'll do a nice video. So yeah, it's there. Brilliant car two little things that are wrong with it that I've noticed straight away. The dashboard lights do not work. A uh, gentleman said it did and it didn't turn, uh, so I was a bit annoyed about that. Um, so I'll have to see tomorrow if the fuse, if it's the fuses. Um, everything else works. Lights, indicators, everything comes on the dashboard. Um, the only thing that doesn't come on are the actual bulbs for the dials, for the speedometer, all that kind of stuff, and obviously the heater controls and the radio. So I'm assuming that a bell, um, uh, I don't know, something's gone, so I'm going to have to double check. Excuse me, I'm just really, really tired. It's about 20 past 1 in the morning. UK type, RSS ah, speed. Oh, it's been a long day, really, really long day. But uh, yeah, so tomorrow morning I'll be up bright to push the tail. I'll be out straight away and I will give, uh, give you a full indexed uh, review of the car good walk around tell you what i've found what's wrong with it and why i got it for such a cheap price here is the log book all sorted i've just had confirmation uh, e uh by email by the dvla that of the gentleman has done it online so the log book will now be sent out to me i am now the registered owner of the vehicle which is fantastic and um yeah just really looking forward to working on now oh baby Oh, I need my veggie boys. So, yeah, there's going to be... Um, first job now uh, will be to get the brakes checked because the rear brakes are binding and so is the front driver side. So that needs to be sorted out. Obviously, I can't drive it at night because uh, I've got no dash, I've got no light. So that's going to be another problem uh to sort out take that out and the driver side uh drive, driver side the passenger side seats um they're electric so you go forward and up uh, apparently i can go forward and back on the passenger seat but it will not go up and down so these are little little tiny faults that uh, the seller neglected uh to tell me to be honest it was my fault i should have absolutely scrutinized everything because when you go, if I can give anybody one piece of advice, when you go to view a car, you test everything. Don't be afraid to press, poke, prod, everything to see that it works. You test the lights, you test this, you test that, you run the engine, you insist it runs for at least 20 minutes. That way then it gets to operational temperature. You can see if there's any oil leak, if there's any coolant leak, you can see how quickly the temperature rises. You can see if, if the fan comes on, uh, pop the engine, ev everything. Uh, so, um, but nobody's perfect. I did miss these two little things. I suppose it was overshadowed by the fact that obviously the brakes were binding. So, um, yeah, a bit gutted about that. But again, easy fix, easy fix. I'm pretty sure uh, there's forums out there and stuff like that now. And uh, I'll have a good look tomorrow now to see if it is the fuses. And who knows, it might, it might make another good vlog. Oh, dear me. Oh, tired. So yeah, it's been a really busy weekend, flat out. But Z3 is parked outside now. It's had a good wash. Um and I enjoy I will I can't wait to give you all a really good in uh, in depth uh, video uh, tomorrow. Um if anybody out there knows what exactly the problem is with the dash lights, everything else works. Um apart from obviously the the lights for the speedometer, tachometer, petrol and the and the rev counter and obviously the heated controls so i don't know if it's a fuse or i don't know if all the bulbs have gone i have no idea would have been nice if the gentleman had told me because obviously if i was if i was 
trading in my other BMW to buy this one. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to drive the car at night because it is illegal to drive without um, dash lights. So, uh, naughty, naughty there. I did uh, message him and uh, he hasn't replied. I can see why. And I've double checked on the receipt as well. And he's knocked the price way, way, way down. I'm talking £950. I don't know how much that is in dollars, but I only paid £950 for the car. And he said sold to scene due to age and, and condition. So obviously there was a couple more things as well. But uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy because I, I hammered him basically. I absolutely hammered him. Uh, it was great. It was fantastic. So a couple of bits that need sorting out and then we'll be on the road. So again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. Please stay tuned for reviews of the Z3 and Masterpiece line and, uh, and various other um, bits and bobs uh, as well. And I will see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, good night. Bye-bye.